everyone, it's April from Well Life Yoga and Health. Today I am here for you. If you are having trouble deepening those back bends, I have five yoga poses that will help you in your practice in order to actually achieve some deeper back bends. And you'll be surprised with the poses that I have for you. Keep on watching and we'll do a mini flow with those five poses. Go ahead and grab a couple blocks just in case you might need them and we will get to the mat. Hey everyone, welcome back to the mat. I already have a couple of yoga blocks here. Hopefully you have yours. If you don't have them, not a huge deal, but it will be a game changer in your practice. So let's go ahead and get started. The first pose, pose number one that I wanna show you is puppy pose. So you go ahead and start on your hands and your knees. So hands or wrists directly under the shoulders. Fingers are always wide. This is your foundation for every single pose whenever your hands are on the mat. So fingertips wide into a high five shape. Knees directly under the hips. So starting in this neutral spine here, we'll go ahead and walk the arms forward, finding our puppy pose, keeping those hips directly over the knees. Bring the heart towards the earth, forehead towards the mat. And this is the first pose. So the reason why I chose this pose is because it is a gentle back bend, but at the same time, it's working on opening your upper spine. So there are some variations to this pose as well. And please join me if you are not already in this pose. Breathe into the belly. Go ahead and relax the elbows into the mat. Maybe let them go out a little tiny bit. Keep them in line with the shoulders. Take one more big breath. And then go ahead and look forward. If you have no neck issues whatsoever, you can always bring the chin to the mat. And this is variation number one of this pose. So uh, again, as long as you have no neck issues, no neck injuries. And then the other option, I'm gonna go ahead and come up, you can stay where you are, and you can look this way, is to bring a couple blocks. I will start them on the low height, but you can always come up to the medium height if you are a little more open in your shoulders. But you'll do the same thing where you bring the elbows down to the blocks. So we're finding that pose. And instead we bring our hands together into a prayer position and then walk the elbows as forward as possible, bringing the forehead between the blocks. Maybe it kisses the ground, maybe it just kind of hangs there. Just find the depth that your body is able to go through right now. And this will continue to open up that upper body here between the scapulas as well as opening the arms, which are a lot of times required in those back bends, like wheel pose, and especially in dancer's pose, where you're really opening and pulling the shoulders further back than the ears. Let's take one more breath in this variation of puppy pose. Exhale, let it go. And then start to press into the elbows, look forward, walk them back, palms can come to the blocks. And for now, we'll go ahead and put these off to the side. The next pose, we'll go ahead and come through our tabletop position. The next pose is low lunge. So bringing that right foot in between the hands, and then here, a lot of people end up kind of like this in a low lunge where their back leg is, is pretty much vertical to the ground. If you can, I would highly suggest moving that knee back. That's gonna actually enable you to open this hip flexor a little more. And in back bends, we are extending that hip flexor. We're actually hyper extending typically. So, if you are in this low lunge position, tuck your back toes, walk your knee back as far as it'll go, as long as it's not causing any pain, just a slight discomfort or, or a mild discomfort. 
and then untuck those toes. We'll lift our arms up to the sky and breathe here. You wanna pull back that right hip crease at the same time you're leaning into that left hip. So we're not just sinking into the front leg, but we're finding a square with our hips where they're in line with the top of the mat, but then we're also extending this hip flexor here. Inhale, arms come back up if they were down. This is pose number two, low lunge. And then go ahead and plant the palms. For this next pose, which is called twisted monkey, we'll go ahead and place the palm either right next to our foot, depends on how open our hips are at this time with this back hip flexor, or we will place it a little bit in front of the foot. Then we'll go ahead and reach the right arm back parallel to the back of the mat. And then take that back foot, we're going to bend the knee and then bring it towards us. So if you're directly on that back knee and your hip flexors aren't very open, you're gonna be directly on your knee and this is not gonna feel great. So this is pose three, twisted monkey. Breathe through this pose. A variation, if you want to go a little deeper, is to turn that front foot about 30 degrees. And come down to the elbow or down to blocks on your elbow. And then really pull in that right leg. It's going to want to fly out. And a little bit's fine. Maybe heel toe the foot out a little bit so that your knee is still directly over the ankle. One more breath. And then slowly release that back foot. Frame the front foot with your hands. Step that knee back to meet the other. And then we'll go through the next side. So bringing that left foot in between the hands, finding that low lunge once more. Again, tucking those back toes, walk the knee back. Inhale, arms come up. Pull that left hip crease back, sink into the right, and breathe. So if you're up here too with the shoulders, squeezing them towards the ears, try to pull them away from the ears while the fingers still reach for the sky. Take one more breath, sink a little deeper into that right hip as you pull that left one back. And then go ahead and lower the hands down, exhale. Plant that right palm next to the foot or a little bit in front of the foot. As our left arm swims back, reaching for that back foot, even though it's not quite there yet. And then we'll start to bend in that knee, lean a little bit more forward so you're not directly on the kneecap. Reach for the foot and hold. And if you have a strap here, you could always use a strap as well. So I don't want you to feel defeated as if you can never grab your foot. I used to use a strap. Everybody has been there. So unless you're already just hypermobile in the beginning, it's not always a given scenario that you're gonna be able to grab your foot. All right, and if you were on this side and you came down to your elbow, turn that front foot out about 30 degrees, come down to the elbow. We'll be here for a few more breaths. Pull that knee in or heel toe the foot out. Or both. One more breath. Open the mouth, let it out. And slowly release. Reframe the foot. Bring the knee to meet the other. Back into your tabletop position. Go ahead and tuck the toes. As we lift the hips, find downward facing dog. Maybe walk it out a little bit. Bending one knee, straighten the other, and then vice versa, pressing that heel towards the ground. 
to get a nice little stretch. And then coming to a stillness, bring the head between the shoulders. This is another pose that will actually help you, but this is not one of the poses today, but I highly suggest doing downward facing dog every day. One more breath. So in essence, this is a bonus pose. And then we'll go ahead and look forward. Press into those pumps so you're really finding a lot of sturdiness here. And then we're going to bend the knees towards the belly, come onto the toes, look forward, and we're gonna hop through into a boat pose. Squeeze the legs together. Pose number four to help you deepen those back bends. Core strength is required in back bends. So you will need this to actually achieve a deeper back bend. Keep on breathing. One more breath, squeeze the legs together and then lower the feet, hug the knees. Maybe bring the chin towards the chest. Breathe here, let the neck lengthen. Take one more breath. And then we're gonna go ahead and rock ourselves up or you can come to standing. So choose which option you would like, but you can watch me first if you would like to. Hands come behind the knees. Go ahead and rock forward and back a few times, gaining momentum. And then we'll come to stand, press through. We'll inhale, arms come up. This is pose number five, upward hands pose. We don't think about it a whole lot, but if you press into those feet, reach the fingertips for the sky, pull the shoulders back down, you will find that lengthening in your spine that you need while you are doing a back bend. So elongating the spine is going to help you in order to deepen that back bend. Go ahead and bring the feet about hip width apart and we'll test out our back bend. So we'll go ahead and press the hips forward, kind of like we do in that low lunge, but usually it's only one thigh. So press the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, reach up higher with the fingertips as we start to reach them back. See the core engage. And then come back. Take a deep breath. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Let it out. All right. Taking one more breath here. Not a traditional practice today, and that's okay. Set your intention for your back bends. Set the intention to lengthen the spine. The intention to lift the upper ribs towards the ceiling or to expand in that area when you are in a back bend. To press the hips forward, to squeeze the glutes. Noticing that all these body parts enable you to move into this position. That all of our body parts are one. Just like the human race. We are all one. One organism, one collective consciousness. And if you had your eyes closed, you can start to open them up. Welcome back. Thank you so much for doing this tutorial with me. Let me know in the comments if any of these poses helped you or if you plan on trying some of these poses and doing this little routine in order to deepen your back bends. And if you are already in a deep back bend practice or you are 
right on the brink of a deep backburn practice, then I actually have a great video for you. It is a flow for deep back bends, specifically for King Pigeon Pose. So I will go ahead and link it right here at the top at the end of the video. And I hope to see you all soon. Again, if you have any feedback, I am open to suggestions. I am open to whatever you got going on. Also a note, I wanted to let everybody know at the beginning of 2023, I am going to be releasing Da, 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 a online video membership. So I'm getting some series recorded for you at the moment as we speak, and I'm gonna have those ready for you, and I will share the details in the upcoming next few weeks. So stay tuned for that, follow me, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye, peace out.